Hello honorable members of the clan, so let's go to the knockout day high court, but before we, maybe we should go there first, because I want to talk about something you guys are asking me of my uh, opinion about, Kelly Kumalo's sarcastic video, which I think it was in a third person, but we'll talk about that. Anyways, let's just talk about what happened after the short adjournment, even though there was electricity that went off. There was like a small load shading that happened. I would have thought that all those police officers in the courtroom would have jumped and covered the accused or even the judge for that matter. But everybody seemed to be like, uh, uh. and then I saw one then remembering, oh, by the way, I'm supposed to be here to protect. <laughs> and then the lights kind of flickered back on. And I think Badoy thought the mics were all off when in fact they were working, but we are not there. I'm just letting you know some little entertainment that happened in the courtroom. And then I'm looking at the so-called security, not security. <laughs> I'm telling you, if it was the US or anywhere else in the world, yes, I know we are not them. They would have jumped. You would have heard guns cocking. <laughs> just to make sure that everybody's okay uh but no anyways <laughs> we'll leave it there i think maybe the reason why they all kept quiet is because the and uh, it looks like even the electricity system is central it's centralized just like uh, the air cons which i still have a problem with that who is maintaining our court houses because I know it's a tender. I mean, it's government after all. It's got to be a tender. And you know those tenders, what they do. They take the money, but do not do the work. Hi, gay. Anyways, let's go on and talk about what Geninda is busy blabbing about on that stand. And it is about Ntanzi's bank statement. Remember Ntanzi said that... Uh, on the day the Senzo Mayo was uh, deleted, he had gone home to Lobola, his girlfriend. But prior to that, he had taken a loan from Capitec that uh, he believes was his alibi. And so um, Gininda is like, ah, no, that's not true because we did get the records of the period between the 25th of October 2014 and 28th of October 2014. And they don't reflect any of such activity or transaction with Capitec Bank. Then I'm like, okay, fine. But then clearly we are going to hear sums and sums of amounts that are going to be deposited into the account after he gets paid or got paid by Kelly Kumalo for the job that they've done. Anyways, I waited and I waited and I waited as he was busy reading and then I'm like, okay, Mm, can we read the banks, the bank records or the transactions of Danzi's bank records from the 1st of October all the way to the 31st of October, at least? And uh, of course, you we heard that there was payment of 15,000 Rand after the deed was done. And the following day, the 27th of uh, October, another lump sums of money were paid, were paid to, uh, what's his name, to... Um, Tundanzi, which if you think about it, or if you make the calculation, I think it said 45,000 on the 27th, but uh, 15,000 on the 26th. I don't know. Does that make 60,000 Rand? I think it makes 60,000 Rand on in all. So, okay, fine. It was in the black plastic bag, I'm assuming. And then he went his merry way. Even Danzi is not educated, but let's, let's link this with the current um, case of uh, the deleting of AKA. Now, those guys that are being accused of deleting AKA large sums of money were tracked in their bank accounts, right? And these guys, I'm assuming they are quite educated. Now, Ndanzi, who has been purported to be a person that is uneducated, he does not deposit even 30,000, half of that 16, just in jail, you know, to keep it there so that it's there. But instead, we are hearing of transactions, which Kininda is not mentioning the amounts, because you know why? The deposits that he spoke about, I believe, was from the mine that he worked at. And these withdrawals that you were making during the course of the period of, let's say, the 21st of October to the 19th of November, I believe, in my heart of hearts, that those were transactions from his salary. 
there has never been a, a large sum of money into his account just in jail, like I said. Because how would he know that monies are getting traced if he's uneducated? Especially for a person who's uneducated and oh, in Kabi, definitely will put some money in the account, just like the AKA alleged in Kabi's. I'm just thinking. I'm not saying that's the thing. I'm just thinking. But anyways, that is the nonsense that is going on in that courtroom right now. And uh, talking about pictures and dreads of accused number three wearing a khaki. Dude, you could have just looked into this guy's thingy and created a whole statement on that. Anyways, we are not there. Now let's talk about what y'all are busy asking me about. My thoughts on Kelly Kumalo's video, which I am not going to give her airtime by playing it because I was listening it with absolute disbelief because she is speaking in a third person. She's not mentioning uh, Senzo's mother by name. But she is speaking something that all of us have heard in the celeb uh, what do you call it? in the commemoration. Sorry, in the commemoration of Senzo Meiwa's tenth uh, anniversary since he was shot in the Kumalo house, how Senzo's mother was crying and begging Kelly Kumalo's mother to have empathy and sympathy and a heart towards her because she, Senzo's mother, believes that Kelo Kumalo's mother knows the truth. So she's asking her to develop a conscience and please let her know what happened to her son. Now, uh, uh, the, the Kumalo Jr. in the in, in Kelly Kumalo, she did a video in, in Zulu that she's forcing. You can tell that the, the accent of it She's trying to be a Durbanite Zulu because that's the person she's directing this to, in my opinion. But she's speaking in third person. Yeah, when you the principle of a third person, of course, you 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 use pronouns like he, she, they type of situation. But in Zulu, uh, there are no pronouns that are going to be used in a third person. Basically, she is blaming, or at least that's how I understand that video. She is blaming and accusing Senzo's mother for being umtagati. She might, she didn't mention the word umtagati, but she is saying it sounds the same fan. We all know in fan is mostly used for her witchcraft. Well, at least in KwaZulu Natal, that's how we know it. That's why we don't trust in fan. That is a baboon, by the way, used for witchcraft. That is what the, the essence of that uh, message to me, if I am dissecting it, she's calling Senzo's mother an umtagati, a witch. What do you call it? There? What's a witch in English? I mean, umtagati in English, a witch, right? That's basically what Kelly Kumalo is insinuating in her uh, speech, even though it's in third person. And we can tell that it's directed at Senzo's mother. It's like, you need to ask yourself your questions. How did you contribute in the death of your son? Because you, you can cry, cry, cry. That's what she said. You can cry, cry, cry. As you cry, you also need to ask yourself, how did I contribute in the death of my son? Because you had a hand in it. And I'm like, uh, okay. I could not believe my ears. I am still picking up my jaw from the ground after watching that nonsense. No accountability whatsoever. And basically, if you even listen to the um, the texture of her voice as she says this in third person towards Senzo's mother, you could almost hear the devil, in my opinion. You are almost listen to that voice and then you tell me what do you hear? I heard the devil speak. Ukalo kulege uzube pepul koti simus na shinji to contribute into what I am experiencing right now. My opinion. That's what I heard. Anyways, when the devil has no heart, no soul either. That, that that's just my opinion that's just my opinion 
No sense of Asia has to say a color now and go by hey, Nazi Safuna, it justice. We are also crying with you because we're also looking for justice, is what I'm saying in Zulu. But no, you must take the blame. She's telling Senzo's mother in third person speech. Yeah, that's where we're at. So clearly, Makumalo. Mm, I don't know what her heart situation is. And I'm talking her kindness, generosity, consciousness, truth, honesty. But then again, your reflection of how you bring up your children is with them when they are adults. They are your ambassadors. How you raise them is how they play themselves out out there. And I'm not just saying Kelly Kumalo's mother. I'm talking about every parent. How your child represents you out there. We don't look at the child teen. Even as an adult, we don't look at you as an adult. We wonder who raised you. It's always that. Who raised you? And when you do great things and you're representing your parents' upbringing, very well. People want to know your parents in most cases because they want to go kiss their feet for the child that they've brought up and doing great things. They want to learn from them. They want to hear so that they can implement the same things you implemented on your good children. But when your children speak like Kelly does, you just have to wonder. I, I saw some people say Zandile Kumala doesn't have a metric. I don't know that. But the way she behaves herself, sometimes one has to ask, were you raised by a pack of wolves? E even with this speech in third person, you, you just have to ask, were you raised by a pack of wolves? It's just sad. It's sad. Of course, I'm using the word wolves as a metaphor before somebody comes and says, hey, we call it. it's a metaphor. It's a figure of speech. Third person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there at the back. It, it, it's a figure of speech where you use something as an example to make a point. Got it? Good. So that, that, that is what I picked up, guys, in case you are wondering. I picked up the devil speaking. Again, metaphor. That, that, that's what I heard. I heard a devil speak. That's all. Other than that, guys, uh, I, I don't know. Let's continue with the charade after the long adjournment because that's where they are right now. And uh, when they come back, I guess we'll continue with these records and the charade that is being played in that courtroom. If you don't know what charade is, it's... Maybe someday I'll explain what charade is. I'm sure many of us have played charade before. That's exactly what's going on in that courtroom. Because I shame the brother. He now lost confidence completely. So much so that Mr. Mnisi and accused number three are asking him to raise his voice because they can't hear him. That confidence that he had in the morning and it was seesawing. Just seesawing. And this time around, it just went, bzz. If you are so confident about this, your investigations, sir, you speak with confidence. But uh, it is what it is. It is what it is. Anyways, guys, do not leave this video without liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Please let me know what are your thoughts about Kelly Kumalo's, uh, whatever that was. <laughs> it's, it's horrible. Respect. Why have I happened to respect? Senzo's mother is... I don't... Stupid indeed. Anyways, let's see each other later. Goodbye.